Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own unit study. Now there's a couple reasons you would want to make your own unit study. One, because you need it, because you want to teach something in your homeschool and you just can't find the right resource um, or guide to do that. Or two, you really enjoy making unit studies or think you would enjoy it and you want to sell them to earn some extra income. I think either way is an awesome thing and I think us as homeschool moms, we know what works because we're most of the time doing these things in our homeschool. So I shared with you guys um, a few weeks or a few months ago, like ideas how to earn extra income. And one of those things was unit studies, but I really wanted to just focus solely on how to do it. Like how do you even start making a unit study? This video is sponsored by Creative Fabrica. I've talked about Creative Fabrica so many times because I truly do love their website, um, especially the more I use it and get into it. I obviously am a content creator. I have a YouTube, a social media, I have a blog, as well as I have created some of my own unit studies. And so having the additional resources from Creative Fabrica at an affordable cost is amazing. I'll just give you an example. So there's a another website called Creative Market. If you go on there, uh, they have amazing resources, beautiful images, beautiful things that you have seen in uh, unit studies. Companies like Gather Round, Campfire, they use this um, to find their images. They are expensive. You pay 40 to 50 dollars for one group of images like it is pretty pricey going to create a fabrica you pay for the all access pass you don't pay per image you just get access to everything you get commercial licensing which would allow you to sell it and guys it is such a good deal so i think I have a free trial. So they give me like a month time frame of a free trial. So if you use my link down below, you get one month free. See what I'm talking about. Go check it out. You can download up to 10 things for free that you can keep with a commercial license. So if you're not sure if this is something that you want to do, at least try it out. Now decide to sign up. Um, I think month to month, it's $9.99, which is an amazing price. Like I'm like I said, you could buy one thing on those other websites for like 50 bucks or this is monthly and you get all the access you need. Or if you sign up for like the whole year, which is what I did, it's like their annual plan, it's only $4.99 a month. I know I spend more than $5 a month on random things that do not help me build a business. So it is the best investment I've ever made for anything related to my businesses that I run. So now let's get into how I create a unit study. If you have no idea where to start, um, I'll go back to Creative Fabrica really quick. Um, they have some text generation AI tools. So if you've heard of chat GB GPT, uh, Creative Fabrica has their own. So you can go on there and say, hey, I wanna make a unit study about raccoons. Help me outline what should be in the unit study. Now, I would not let an AI write your unit study. That is pointless, um, and they're not gonna do a great job, not a good job as you, but they'll give you an outline. Hey, let's talk about their physical characteristics. Let's talk about their habitat. Let's talk about their lifestyle. So it will help you outline um, to create your unit study. So you can use those types of things as well. Or if you're like, I don't even know, you could say, hey, give me 10 ideas for homeschool unit studies about science and then it will spit out some ideas for you to get you started so that text ai will really help you get started if you're someone that kind of needs that extra help uh, figuring out like overall planning of it then you can use things like their images so you want um you know the beautiful watercolor images for you know space you would just search it and you download the illustrations they have amazing fonts that you can download like super fun fonts um, that you download and then those go into Word or whatever you're using to put together your unit study. So definitely need an outline and a topic. Um, once you have that, I recommend um, researching, you know, are you, are you writing the whole unit, which means that somebody could take your unit and read it and they don't need anything additional to complete it. Or are you making it more of like a companion where you have resources and you direct them, okay, you know, for this lesson, you're going to read this chapter in this book, you're going to do this activity in this book, which way are you going, you know, one, 
Um, if you're going the way where you're using a lot of resources and they're like required to complete your course, you need to research that those resources are good. Uh, they flow well. You don't want to do too many of them. Uh, you want to make sure they're readily available for people to purchase. If they can't find a book you're recommending or it's like, you know, sometimes when Amazon sells like older books or out of print books and they're like hundreds of dollars, don't recommend those as your resources. Find a available book uh, that they can easily purchase somewhere um, that makes sense. So do that and then go get your resources. Go to your library or if you really want to invest or if you're using this unit study with your own kids, buy all the resources, go through them all and that's how you can kind of add on the information and the resources. So as a joke, um, when I first <laughs> talked to you guys about making a unit study, I picked a unit study on raccoons. And then I actually asked you guys on, I think my Instagram, like would anybody actually be interested in a raccoon unit study? And surprisingly enough, I got tons of interest in it. So I'm gonna show you how I put together my unit study, some of the resources I used. Um, and then if you want the unit study, the link is down below. It is a free download. So I hope you guys enjoy the unit study. If you also didn't know, I have a free human body unit study as well that I will also link down below. Now, what you can use these as examples for is my human body unit study uses required resources. So there are books that are required to complete the unit. My raccoon unit study does not have any required resources. I did add some optional add-ons, but there's nothing required um, except the course itself. So I have those two examples uh, down below that you can use use them in your homeschool. They are free. I hope you guys enjoy them. Okay, so this is the finished product of my raccoon unit study. I just want to point out some of the different things. So this font um, right here, this is from Creative Fabrica. These, all these images and background, those are also from Creative Fabrica. So I have um, the I have Canva, which is how I put everything together, and Canva does have some images, but for this, I found these like really pretty watercolor type images and like individual pieces that I could piece together um, that I liked much more. Other things you can find in Creative Fabrica are um, like templates of other documents. So like this Venn diagram example was just a template. And again, everything you get in Creative Fabrica comes with its commercial license. I was able to find an outline of North America. I was able to find this Animal Tracks reference guide, different little life cycle images. So there are different resources. Um, but as you can see, the main like pretty design uh, came from Creative Fabrica as well as I did use their AI feature to help me figure out the lessons. Now, from what it first generated to what it ended up with, um, it's not the same. I've definitely switched some stuff around and renamed it, but it definitely helped me get started. Okay, so you guys kind of saw the end product, but let me give you another example of maybe a beginning product. This is what Creative Fabrica looks like. There's fonts, graphics, AI, that's what I believe uh, CF Spark is called, um, is where you get uh, different text things. It can make images for you. So here's like their normal recommendations. So this is super cute. They came out with a Mother's Day design. So I mean, you can use this for like, I see people put this cute stuff on t-shirts, on cups. But here's just some different little images um, that, you know, you can get some ideas from. Now this is not like a homeschool specific site. This is just a creative asset site. Here's some really cute animals. You could do like a preschool animal unit. Here's some nature scenes. So these are just some very basic examples. But let's go to Spark and we're going to do, if you just click on article, it really helps you um, come up with things. Okay, so we're gonna do homeschool space unit study. And then we're just gonna call it that because I don't know what to call it right now. Or we can use AI, 
Homeschool in Outer Space, a unit study on the final frontier. So that sounds way more exciting than I could have came up with. Um, let's use AI to create an outline. I didn't give it any feedback here. Um, so it kind of went a little crazy with what it did. So let's give it some feedback. Let's do create um, 10 lessons for a homeschool unit on outer space. Make each planet its own lesson. So let's see if that listens. Now this is not perfect by any means. You normally have to play around with it, uh, but it can give you some good ideas as well. Okay, so see how it says, and it's kind of all jumbled up here. Um, okay, so the first lesson could focus on Mer Mercury, and then it gives you just like a little synopsis of that. So then we have Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Um, so there's some ideas. We can have it again. Create 10 lessons for a homeschool unit on outer space. We could do for elementary students. An outline of so I just kind of changed it around a little bit. So I didn't really want it to have like all that font. I really wanted it to be more of like a list. Okay. So now it's a little bit different. So now it's how big outer space is, the different planets, the sun is a star, the different types of stars, gas and dust, galaxies, the solar system, empty space. Uh, so this is kind of a different approach to it. But I think you guys get the gist. Uh, you can play around with this and really help you uh, get an outline and some ideas for a unit study. Now let's go back to just create a Fabrica. So we're gonna stay on that line of space. Um, so I want, I really like the watercolor design. So watercolor space. And let's see if they have space watercolor. And they do. And they actually have a few different options. So here's the planets. So if I really wanted to do that planet option, I have all the planets here in that style that I really like. Then they have different styles. They have um, more cartoonish ones. Uh, this one looks pretty cool. This one has over a hundred assets, it says. So it has planets, space backgrounds, watercolor, minerals, zodiac. So this one is really cool. And if you go within a theme, right? So this is kind of watercolor, you can mix and match some of these things. So with that, I could have tons of different graphics and designs for my unit study, which makes it really easy. Um, now there's just some like watercolor galaxies, which is really cool. And I mean, they just keep going. <laughs> so uh, what I will show you is, let's look at this one. This one is pretty cute as well. So this one comes with just these 10 images. Um, so that's fine. So all you have to do is you just have to download it and then it downloads straight to your computer. Once you have your, um, you're either on the free trial or membership, that's it. Sometimes I like to see from the designer, uh, like if they have anything similar. So we have those. Now let's see if they have an, a space font. And now I'm not a graphic designer, so I don't know if you would even call it that. But they do, so like this is really cute. Here's like an outer space font. Here's a super, that's like NASA font. This one's really cool. This is a cosmic one. Now you don't have to do this, but this is really what will set, you know, your unit away. Oh, I really like this one. Okay, so here's a font. When you download fonts, they download as a font file. Um, so you can actually take that and open it in like Word as an actual font. So you'll actually be typing with it. It's not like you have to place these letters. That would be so silly. Um, so I downloaded my space little um, icons and I downloaded my font. Okay, so now I have some of my digital assets. Um, let's see, I could do space activity. 
So this is also where you can get like different activity pages too. And so there's coloring pages. So if you wanted coloring pages in your unit study, you can use these. People already made them. Here's some outlining ones. Here's a scene creator one. So when you download these, you get the commercial rights to put them in your unit study as you see fit or even these little outline drawings, you could just add those as a little coloring page down at the bottom, really whatever you would want to do. Just uploading all those uh, images and stuff that I just got from Creative Fabrica. And so that will upload them into my gallery, uh, just making it easier. Because when you make a unit study, you are using a lot of the same assets kind of over and over again, especially like backgrounds and stuff like that. So I'm going to download those. And then for fonts, I need to remember how to add a font search. So I'll oh, upload a font. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm lying, I have done it in a long time, but please confirm the following. So yes, I acknowledge that I own it, and you do, because you get commercial um, rights with your Creative Fabrica membership. So I'm gonna upload. So now, this is just a standard plain document, and this is where I start building all of my unit studies on. So I can go back to my uploads, <clears throat> and maybe I want this to be the background and I'm not giving you guys a lesson on Canva, so that's not what this is. You could do this in Word, whatever you wanted. I'm just trying to show you guys how I um, add in all those assets very easily. And then if you do have something like Canva, um, you know, that's where you get like just simple white boxes and things like that. So now I can make this white Maybe we'll make this color blue to match, maybe a darker blue, and we can just do all. Oh, I don't like this font now about space. <laughs> I don't like the A's. Um, but you know what I'm talking about, space unit study. <clears throat> And then you can, you know, obviously mess around however you want. Make it bigger. If you make the font bigger, it tends to look a lot better when they're this fancy. You can squish it together. And then you can just add another page and keep on going. So we can do one about the earth. Add text, add a heading. And we can just do planet Earth. And then I can find another font that I want to use. So here's all my spaceship ones. Here's, they're all kind of crazy. I guess space fonts are supposed to be hard to read because they're, I don't know, from outer space. But there you go. Planet Earth. And then I can add everything. And then if you do use Canva, I can do space and see what they have. So they have different things as well. They have cute little graphics and stuff. So I could throw some stars in here if I wanted to. I could throw some rocks down here and those rocks really go with that other design. So this is really where you customize it and make it your own unit study. Oh, this is cute. I like that for this. Oh, did I do that right? Kind of put that down there. It's all the planets, maybe. That's cute. Okay, so as you can see, it just starts piecing together. Now, obviously, you need to type and create your unit, but if you had that outline and then you start gathering your resources, that is really how you can do all of that. All right, guys, I hope that I helped if you have the urge to create a unit study for your homeschool, um, either for just your personal use, or if you really want to share these resources and earn some extra income. Um, I hope this has laid a path work. It's not easy <laughs> by any means. I've only made two and I wanted to rip my hair out through both of them because there's a lot of parts and things you have to think about. But they're really fun to make and I think that there's never going to be enough unit studies because there's so many different topics and subjects that people, you know, 
want to learn about and there's diff different styles as well that people you know may like better with your unit study versus someone else's so um, if you have questions comments leave those down below in the comments thanks so much for watching guys have a great day and we'll chat soon bye